space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. Its five-year mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. downtown to begin our journey, along with my traveling companion, Joel, I, and Gary. Anything you two would like to say? Yeah, I'd just like to say, we're doing it. Going to New York, we're going to eat some pork, going to do it with the pork. Captain Zog. What's a, well, I still don't know our star date. Star date. It is the second of the fourth of the 2009. So uh, we are on the bus. Now we're going to New York. And any closing comments? We're on the second floor of the bus. And we're waiting for our driver. That's true. Second floor rocks. And we seem to be surrounded by friendly people. <laughs> we're not friendly. They're not. They're we're not apparently friendly. friendly. <laughs> And you're acting like a voyeur. Oh, there goes that. I am a voyeur. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Can you say something about... So, star date, the next day, we are in New York. <laughs> Woo! because it was really, really hot and sweaty on the bus, and I could use some nice, cool, refreshing rain. Yeah, you're really hot and sweaty on the bus, too. Just saying. Thank you. <laughs> When's the ball It's real food. It is. It's real, real food, food, believe it or not. Gary's not eating styrofoam this time. It's delicious. I love it. I should have this one. This is a perfect bite mark in that piece of toast. Do you see that? Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. I do. I do uh-huh. see that. Alright, very good. I've been back. Okay, uh, we're getting an annoying whining sound. Oh, there he's gone. Uh, <laughs> Gary, so, stop talking. So before I take up more space, Gary, any, th- any comments you want to say about the trip so far? Anything I, you think I've left out? Ah, life is delicious. There we go. And, uh, and Joel? I'm going to talk right now. I mean, okay. <laughs> this is the happiest boy in the world. So, Captain's Log, 2 p.m. We just spend like half an hour on the subway getting from one stop over thanks to this guy. Don't blame me for that. You guys didn't you have to get do you guys didn't have to get on the train? Of course. Don't bl- so we should never Don't get on a train with Gary. That is the lesson learned. Uh, we saw the comic book art, including Watchmen and we're half an hour late. Thanks to this doodle brain. I thought there was something running every 15 minutes. Joel, do you have anything to say? I do. Um, uh, for an adventure, but not for necessarily the good time, a good time, I recommend NY Transit. <laughs> it's a ball. Yes, it is quite the ball. Although I did get the number of that one cute hobo. And that the lady. So, yes, quite inspiring. We went to the Tenement Museum. It was it was pretty good, if not, you know, sleep-inducing on someone who's got an hour and a half of sleep. The waves look nice. There's, like, a griffin in the trees over there. Yeah, that's, that's a statue of American symbolism welcoming immigrants to America. Recording. And introducing an impromptu dance that they won't wait for themselves to be introduced. I already regret doing this. 
Uh, you know what? Like Gary Solo alone. The sun's in my heart, and I'm red. Gary, show off your best moves. Stormy clouds shake. Everyone from the place. Joel is the camera for. Come on with a rain of a smile. 